Yeah, man, see all praise and honor unto you how we are sharing about 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 you know, interview thing, you know, with these Edomites, you know, telling all people, you know, it's straightforward that they're not gonna receive a penny because, you know, this all people, especially the so called Jamaicans, they heavily believe in reparation and it it is, you know, Edomites are make it be known to people that them don't basically owe them nothing or they're not gonna receive a penny. Right? And over the years, you know, we've seen Jake, you know, heavily, you know, believe in this thing. Even going back to 2015, you have, I believe, David Cameron, he come to Jamaica. And you have so-called Jamaicans there, you know, ask, do a reparation thing. And, you know, the whole thing gets shown. Right, and during, the, I think, during 2015, you have... You know, British does finishing pain off the families of the former slave owners out in Jamaica because um, British Britain basically borrow money from the rock child, you know, to pay the slave owners. Right, so they finish pay off 2015, I believe. Right, so you have Jake, you know, asking for reparation, and more and more as time go by, you see, you know, people keep even on social media keep on, you know, asking for reparation. Right, especially even the Rastas then. Right, but this East Side Edom make it be known to people, right? Uh, they are saying that we should be paying billions in slave trade reparations. Um, many people jumping up and down say that's a bit bloody ironic, to be honest. Yeah. It, what, what's, your, what's Reform's position, your position it's on this? Not a single penny mm. in reparations. Because, look, the reality is, frankly, lots of other countries owe us. Yeah. I mean, it is the Royal Navy and the British taxpayer that stopped the slave trade over many years about 170 200 years ago and we should be we should be thanked for that uh, not then said you've got to pay a bill and you know, there, there, were, there were vast legions of people along the way who made money out of the vile hey so he says <laughs> well, i think serious oh, i was laughing but it's real serious man yeah yes so let's keep speak about the pride you know of isa either all right isa showing his pride here. Alright, this is um Zachariah 11 and verse 5 say, Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. And they that sell them say, Blessed be the Lord, for I am rich, because they become rich after all the back of our four parents, you know, slavery or enslavement coming up to now. I know they don't feel like they own us. As you, as you say, you, you, you should be basically thanking them. That's the mindset of these men here. Right? And their own shepherd pity them not. Even leaders that um, basically sit up over us, they don't care about us. Right? The current leader who is Han you know, Dr. Han all, all him basically care about is basically push, you know, master agenda to the team. Right? So these men they don't really care about us. Or oh, people feel like somehow one day these men gonna have a change of heart. Right? Scripture come to mind, let's bring it out. Uh, this is Lamentation 4 and verse 17 say As for us our eyes as yet fail for our vain help in our watching we have watched for a nation that could not save us and this nation will never save us, especially Edomites. Right? Them enjoy, you know? Are benefit of our downfall. Them like that. They like to see us and they don't know. Right? He said say in um, Revelation, I think, Revelation um, 11. Let me see if I remember. Let me see if I. Yeah, right thing, 11. Man. Revelation 11, and verse 10 say, And they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them and make merry. And shall send gifts one to another, because these two prophets tormented them that dwell on the earth. So then basically, you know, celebrate the our downfall, right? You have um the southern kingdom, which is um, you know, 
Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, and the northern kingdom, you know, lead by Ephraim and Don. Right? So, these two prophets, you know, these nations, these two kingdoms, both the southern kingdom and the northern kingdom, been tormenting them. Going back during the time of, you know, um, King David to Solomon, we have all these nations tributary unto us. But now, them, all them, you know, over us right now, and them, them basically glad for basically oppress us. Scripture say it too. The Lord was a little displeased about them help for our affliction. So he saw them coming out, make it be known to people that you know, right? You should be thanking them. Right, not the other way around. Slave trade, including uh, tribal leaders and rulers and kings in African countries. So yeah. yeah, because even these so called Africans, them have an also in the help of you know enslavement and also the, the Arabs we should basically go back to the Ishmaelites account to you know and what you know the scripture said I believe the elder bring out is to um the scripture so those, you know, continue All right uh, this is this is um Joel okay. Joel 3 and verse 3 say, And they have cast lots for my people, and they have given a boy for an allot, and sold a wine, and sold a girl for wine that they might drink. Yea, and what have ye to do with me, O Tyre and Sudan, you so called Africans, you know, these Hamite chief that play a part in you know, our enslavement along with these. Sell out Jake. The kind of people have always been selling out each other. And all the coast of Palestine, you Arabs, will he render me a recompense? And if he recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon your own head? Right? So these nations they're gonna pay, all gonna pay. Right? Every single one ain't gonna pay for or don't fall. Or, or, the suffering of, our, suffering of our people because they all benefit and they all going to go into slavery every single one of them according to what the scripture says right this is um jeremiah 30 and verse 16 say therefore all they that devour thee shall be devoured and all thine adversary every one of them shall go into captivity and they that spoil thee shall be a spoil and all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. So all they're gonna play. All them gonna pay you. So you yeah, saw you them, you know, speaking about, you know, the, the, these rulers, African kings and things, all they're gonna pay you. But you saw gonna get it reversed, according to account to prophecy. Right? So all he talking, you saw talking. Time is coming very, very soon. When they're gonna pay. For every single thing, every single thing they, did, they did to us and doing right now, what they are about to do too. Stop all that nonsense. And by the way, I mean, I'm experiencing this in constituencies in the UK, including in my own constituency. There is modern day slavery, yeah, there Jeremy. Is. There is. In the United Kingdom. There is. And so, frankly, I suggest that we focus on that. We're going to turn more scripture and close off. All right, this is um, Revelation. Freeze. Revelation 13 and verse, and verse 9 say, If any man have an ear, let him hear. Right? Meaning if you have the mind, if you understand what the scripture is saying right here. Right? He that living, he that leadeth into captivity, slacker, shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patient and the faith of the saints. I have to basically patiently waiting on right for these men, you know, pay for every single thing with them they did to us. Right, as a people, as a nation, they go all gonna pay. You know, regardless of what they want to say right now, or what they might do that. Or even what they might go in the near future. It's still not gonna stop. Right, the scripture say to you. Lord say, whatsoever I did, no, nothing can put to it, or nothing can be taken from it. And written, written according to prophecy that they are going to go into slavery. Right, this is Psalms 140 
9 verse 5 say, Let the saints be joyful in glory. Yeah, let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises of Yahweh be in their mouth and towards his sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishment upon the people to bind their kings with chains. Right? They're going into chains. Just like all fair prince get brought over this side of the world, you know. Pack like sardine. Right? Chain up. Hey, well, they, these these nations they're gonna go into slavery, especially Isa Edom in chains. Right? To bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron to execute upon them the judgment written dishonor of all his saints. Praise the Lord. So that may I say I'll praise the Lord and to your house. I'll show you how to do it. And 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 I'll show you how to do it.